Well, when we talk about a a total archive solution, we actually look at these three layers here, and they are con um, they contain a content management application layer, our Eternity iCast software layer, and then NAS or SAN storage infrastructure as a back end. So. Um, Basically what happens when you're doing archiving and you're actually using either an archive link or a BCILM storage layer is that from SAP files are being sent to a content management solution and like I said, I mean, this can, these can be very many, there, there are very many different uh, solutions supported. When it comes to SAP archive link or BCILM, we support <coughs> Open Text, Documentum, FileNet, um, KGS, and many others. So SAP sends a file to this solution, and this solution basically then interfaces with our Eternity iCast software layer through a file system interface. Basically, what what this is is that Eternity just provides a drive letter to these applications and these applications drop files with the read-only bit onto this drive letter and then Eternity performs um, several processes to basically um, provide the warm functionality, encrypt the data, um, set retention dates, um, and compress and, do, does, and Eternity also does compression as part of the process of the file being actually stored on this drive letter. Eternity then passes this file on to the actual NAS or SAN storage layer and as you can see down here we are, are supporting a multitude of different vendors here as far as their NAS or SAN products. So you have this layer here, these two layers, storage and ICAS being, being basically a storage product a combi as a combination and that competes against um, other companies like um, other company products like EMC Centera or NetApp Snaplock. Um, if, you, if you think about these products, they're basically a black box. They're hardware and software with proprietary formats combined as a black box to you, to you or the application sitting on top of it. Whereas Eternity iCAS is an open format, <clears throat> allows you to use whatever type of storage infrastructure you <clears throat> have in place today and make the, be make the best use of your current infrastructure without having to go out and buy new equipment, new devices that are proprietary. And <clears throat> Like I mentioned before, on top of it sit the ISV applications that it supports, various um, content server solutions, but not just, um, it's not just a product designed for SAP archiving only, it also supports um, different ISVs around email archiving, or around um, PAC solutions for healthcare and so on. So you can build a corporate archive using Eternity ICAS where SAP is just a section of that archive. Eternity ICAS um, provides a compliant storage solution and by that we what we mean is it follows compliance requirements from various um, authorities, federal as well as international, as far as SOX, um, Bazell, and so on. And all the what all these regulations have in common is that they um, focus on that the data has to be tamper-proof, meaning that there's no manipulation possible to the data, that um, the files need to be able to have retention settings on the individual file level, not not as part of when you think about the old warm, ju uh, warm jukeboxes where an ISO image got burned with Eternity you have retention settings on the individual file, not on an ISO image. So you can be very specific as far as <clears throat> when when a, a file is ready for deletion. And um, data, um, it, the regulations um, requ 
require that you provide warm functionality, write once, read many times, so the data cannot be deleted until that retention date has reached. The data has to be in a format so that it can be migrated to alternative media. If you think about you having to replace hardware every five years, it has to be easy to, to migrate this archive data to new media instantly. And you have to guarantee that you're able to access the data at any possible time. So Eternity fulfills all these compliance requirements. And um, <clears throat> this is another view on, on the architecture um, and the flexibility in the arc when it comes to this architecture. Like I said before, you can have many, many applications sitting on top of this doing, doing archiving. Um, in, in various forms. We are focusing today on, on the SAP components like OpenText and KGS that can actually write files through that file system interface to the Eternity layer. I, the Eternity layer can, can be flexibly designed. We can have um, a physical installation on a, I mean, a, f a physical server installation on a physical server. We can have a virtualized um, environment where all the servers are virtual and this doesn't have to be necessarily just VMware. We are supporting many other um, virtualization engines like Hyper-V, Zen, Citrix um, and you can have it set up as a cluster environment for high availability so that you have automatic failover between one server and another. Um, the Eternity software is then either iSCSI fiber channel connected to any SAN storage or it's, it's, there's a NAS uh, connection <clears throat> and the files are actually stored, the, the physical location of where the files, the archived files are stored is on this layer. They're, they're stored as um, Eternity's patented content storage containers and um, they will have that warm layer around them so that you cannot um, access them and make changes to them or delete them before the retention date has been reached. What are the um, op main objectives that Eternity focuses the I ICAS product around? And that is security, flexibility, and cost efficiency. It, it's supposed to be a um, very flexible tool that allows you to work with what your with your existing infrastructure, providing the maximum in security that you can ask for. So, um, like I mentioned before, it provides security for your archive data using um, the CSC technology, which is patented. Um, it it is it is certified by KPMG to for its warm functionality and um, when we say flexibility we, we mean that it is very flexible as far as what type of hardware you're, you're using it with, um, how you design your, your um, data center around archiving if you want to do, um, if you want to have a DR side or if you want to do failover, <clears throat> high availability failover with, with a cluster technology or load balancing, it is very flexible as far as how you implement it and um, how you implement that software and how you grow your archiving landscape with it. Um, it also is, is flexible, ver very flexible in regards to which ISVs uh, on what kind of ISVs it supports through this file system interface. It is very, very easy to connect new applications to, to this um, product. Um, basically, any any application that can place a file into into a mounted directory and set the read-only bit um, can use Eternity ICAS as an archiving backend. And when it comes to cost efficiency, that is that is mainly provided through its um, license module uh, license model that provides very low. TCO, it's a pay-as-you-grow model, so you you have very simple entry levels with one terabyte or five terabyte. It's a it's it's a node 
volume-based license model and a volume-based license model. So you only pay for what you're actually using it for.